Hey guys, what's up? JP here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, so I figured let's do a, uh, a let's talk about it. Uh, one of the things we'll be talking about is the new show Fandom. That'll be later on, but let's just start off with the uh, the most obvious. Apologize for all the travel lately. I just got back from PAX. Luckily, I didn't get sick. Uh, this was a week ago, but I think I finally have recovered from the uh, the lack of sleep that, uh, that PAX sometimes does to you. Uh, and then in like... Two weeks on the 23rd, I think. I'll be leaving for TwitchCon, and then I'll be back that Sunday. And then October should be a pretty quiet month when it comes to travel. Um, but if you're going to be at TwitchCon and you want to uh, you want to see what I'm up to, you can head over to twitchcon.com slash guest slash itmejp. I'll put that in the, uh, the description here. So if you want to see the panels that I'm on or uh, the meet and greets, times, and all that stuff, you can check it out. Um, I think every panel is going to be streamed there, so I'm on one. Uh, it's like building the communities or something with with Co. Um, the Drop Frames panel is not on that list for whatever reason. I know the reason why. I guess I don't actually know why it's not up, but it's on 4:30 on uh, Friday, 4:30 Pacific on Friday at the uh, at the Kappa Theater, which is their big theater. So uh, if you want more information, feel free to go over to that site. Uh, talking about the normal stream. We're going to continue, uh, at least here in September, playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and H1Z1 leading up to the TwitchCon Invitational event that I'm in for H1Z1. I think the prize pool is at like 140000 or something right now, so uh, I'm pretty pretty nervous and or excited for that. Uh, but I'm going to keep playing that. I also want to check out Mad, Ma Mad Max. I've heard that's uh, I've heard that's pretty good, and I've, I've heard it's about a 10-hour playthrough, so we could probably knock that out in, uh, in about two streams, but... Uh, looking forward to October, uh, we're going to be doing our Halo series playthrough, most likely in that first or second week of October, playing Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, Reach, and ODST, uh, most likely co-op with some friendly faces that you guys have recognized, and then, of course, at the end of the month, we'll be jumping into Halo 5. Uh, on the 20th of October, Tales of Zestaria comes out. It's a JRPG that I want to be looking at, and then, uh, we'll maybe take a look at Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We'll see. I just want to see if they fucked it up as bad as they did Unity. There's no way in hell they could have fucked it up as bad as they did that. But uh, yeah, I want to get my... I want to play as Sam and kill people. You know, just run around as my husband's stripping and just kill people. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, let's talk about roleplay. So Mirror Shades and Swan Song are two shows that we'll do... Mirror Shades is tonight, if you're watching this VOD on the 7th of September. Um, and then Swan Song will be next week. Uh, I think Wednesday. I haven't nailed down that date just yet. Uh, but the reason that those shows are kind of sparse right now is because Wheat uh, is, of course, pretty much the main person behind TwitchCon. And he's just been insanely busy. Uh, literally, like, taking my call in between meetings and running from meeting to meeting. Uh, so he's in, he's in really bad crunch time right now, but he's still making time for role plays. So we got mirror shades tonight, swan song next week. And then the week after that will be TwitchCon, And then everything should return to normal after that. Uh, as for role play R and D, we have one episode left. Stevens told me it should only take one more episode to figure everything out. We haven't really figured out when we're going to do that just yet. I'm hoping it'll be next week sometime. Uh, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, and then we're going to be moving forward with a uh, new show new members of that uh Crindor and shannon of course being this month not really a month the show's been on for like three months uh but it's this season let's call it a season uh they're the season's guest and we'll move forward with uh with some new guests for the future season which i haven't nailed down whatsoever uh let's talk about dark heresy only because i know people are going to ask about it and uh we'll just be I'll just be honest with where we're at. So we were supposed to relaunch in early August. In fact, that was supposed to occur on like the first or second week of August. Uh, we were all good to go. Um, and then it kind of, I noticed Steven was a little bit hesitant about it. And I started talking to him about it. Uh, and, you know, he runs West Marches. He's on Swan Song. He runs R&D. He's on a lot of stuff role play related. And it really just came to uh, not having enough time to do it. Uh, so he ba he backed out of the show. Uh, so now I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. Uh, we might go the route of a new DM. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will discuss that ad nauseum. The fact is it has to be a new DM, so I don't know why you're going to discuss it. Uh, but I'm still working on that. It's not really the same show without Steven there. Um, so it might just be dead. I don't know. <laughs> when I figure that out, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably never, I'll never announce as I've always kind of done that a show's dead. 
um, just because that's what I do. But uh, but yeah, that's that's where Dark Heresy is at right now. Uh, on the flip side, West Marches is doing awesome. Uh, loving that show week to week. Got a lot of great people involved with it now. Uh, we're going to see some familiar faces like Trump coming up in a future episode. I think Dodger is going to return to a future episode. Um, no big surprises just yet. But that'll all be in the future. Uh, and then I think in October, we're probably going to do a West Marches themed shirt uh, and tie it in with, you know, Halloween and all that stuff. So I don't have a design in mind yet for that or anything, um, but that'll probably launch, I would hope, mid-October, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and then last but not least, Drop Frames. We're still trucking along with that. We had an awesome uh, show at PAX. I'm still trying to get that footage. If it comes down to it, I might just like record locally, like play the video for an hour and 20 minutes or however long the VOD is, and uh, just play that and record it locally on OBS because I can't get the actual files for it. Because when I left the panel, uh, I just forgot to give them a flash drive and get it from them directly. So it's my own fault, but I'll, uh, I'll work on getting that to, um, to you guys here on YouTube. Uh, and also just as a VOD because it was I enjoyed it. A lot of people have said it was our, our best episode yet. So uh, we'll also be at TwitchCon as well, but I already talked about that. So that's drop frames. Let's talk about the new show. Uh, so I revealed the name ye two two days ago on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be called Fandom. F A N D O M. Uh, what is Fandom? So a lot of people have been kind of trying to figure out what it is, and some people have gotten it right. Um, the idea behind fandom really came from uh, me actually. I, it was one of those like I'm about to fall asleep moments that I jotted down, uh, which turned out it was seemed pretty good. Uh, and it kind of also came from um, some of the, the early Swan Song episodes uh, with the discussion that would happen at the very beginning of the show, the pre-show or whatever. Uh, so the idea is that myself and three other people will always have four people on the show I'll always be the constant. The other three will be uh, the people that are constantly changing. The variables for you scientific people out there. Um, and the idea is to bring three other people on that love a specific thing. And the cool thing about it is that it doesn't just have to... It's not just a video game. Um, we can bring people on and talk about, I don't know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Or, I don't know, some book that DJ Wheat's reading. Uh, it could really be anything, and and that's why I'm kind of excited for it. Um, we're going to start off with games, obviously, just because that's what I know, and it, it's it's the easiest one for me to do. But I think as the as the show continues to grow and move forward, we'll uh, we'll be able to you know just jump into something. And the the ideas came from the fact that there's a lot of shows out there, and there's a lot of media, and there's a lot of content that just kind of like tears things apart and is is incredibly negative about things um and i think a lot of people have grown accustomed to watching content that is in that way and if they see something that is like super positive they tend to be disinterested in it and that's totally okay um what the show is going to aim to do is to be that circle jerk to be that positive thing around whatever we're talking about uh and sure, we might have a little bit of like disagreements on on what was the best part of it or what was what was a bad part of whatever we're talking about. But for the most part, it's going to be a genuinely positive show about that. So, talking about the first show, and uh, one of the cool things about the the fandom, the show, uh, I've already shown you guys the logo once before. Uh, but for each show, we're going to have Daniel work on the logo in the overlays and uh, kind of change it up a little bit to fit. Uh, to fit the upcoming show, or to fit the current show, rather. So uh, the first show is going to be World of Warcraft themed. Um, I've played World of Warcraft since the very beginning. Uh, we're going to have Tally come on. We're going to have Bajira come on. Tally, you know, very PvE-focused streamer. Bajira, very PvP-focused streamer. Uh, the third guest is not confirmed just yet, um, but I am talking to someone. We're just waiting on his, uh, his higher-ups to give him the go-ahead to come on. And when that gets on, uh, I'll go ahead and announce the show fully on uh, on on Twitter. But uh, we're looking to launch the show on my birthday on September 15th, which I believe is next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday is when we want to try to launch it. Uh, and I'll most likely, we're, we're trying to start around 5 o'clock Eastern right now, a little bit later than drop frames, but we can't go too late into the night because Tally and Bajira both stream late at night. So we'll figure that out. Uh, we are, we've already got the second game 
second show in game confirmed uh, as well as some guests on that. But we're going to wait to reveal that after the first show is already done. Uh, but I'm super excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun, you know, just talking to people uh, about something that they are really passionate about. Uh, you know, when you get Tally and Bajira talking about World of Warcraft, that's kind of their thing, right? Like that's kind of their baby and they'll, they'll defend it till the end of time. And I've played World of Warcraft since the very beginning. We're going to tie it into, uh, you know, the new expansion Legion, which, uh, was announced, I don't know, a month, a month or so ago. It should be really cool. It should be cool. And that's kind of the other thing too, with the show is, um, we're going to ride the hype a little bit. So if there's a big announcement of something, or if there's a game that just came out, like one off the top of my head that I know we're going to do is going to be fallout. Like when Fallout 4 rolls out, we're going to talk about Fallout with a bunch of other people uh, who I already know pretty much who's going to be on that show. Um, we'll probably do one for Metal Gear. I, I don't see why we wouldn't. That seems like a cool one. Uh, there's just a lot of games out there that are beloved and, and have a huge passionate fan base. And I just want to talk about the games with other people and, and see how that goes. Um, I guess the last thing I'll say on the show, and, and if you guys have questions in the... Uh, in the the comments feel free to post them i'll I'll try my best to respond to them um but the last thing i'll say about the show is that i'm most excited to just have a show that is not you know weekly in that sense we're not going to do a show every week it's gonna it's gonna be whenever i kind of want it to be uh and and that's the exciting thing about it so we'll have more information on that uh when i know more in terms of locking down the launch day and everything but i wanted to get the uh the information out there and talk about the first show a little bit Uh, Because I know you guys have been wanting that info. So uh, what else? I guess the last thing is thanks to all the uh, the subscribers on Twitch who have stuck around. Uh, We only lost about 100 or so during PAX, which in the past we've lost 5 to 600. So uh, it was really cool to uh, to see you guys sticking around. And I also got a... I got a sneak peek at some uh, some Twitch analytics coming up in the future and saw my subscriber retention number. And it was... uh, much higher than other people out there from what I was told. So huge shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, and then I guess the other thing, which is kind of a downer a little bit, uh, the YouTube content's been lacking a little bit. And it's honestly just like I have more fun on Twitch. Uh, I could, I, I plan to repurpose a bunch of playthroughs uh, for YouTube, but like Konami fucking hates YouTubers and like any. Uh, there's so many VODs now that are just, I wake up every day and there's like five new cl- VODs that are claimed. So it's like, what the, f- I don't even care anymore. I really don't care. Uh, everything, sub- uh, if you subscribe on Twitch, you can get the VODs. They'll be there forever. You can watch them whenever you want um, in terms of like the full on Metal Gear playthrough or anything like that. Cause I did play Metal Gear one through four on Twitch, but I just can't put it up on YouTube because literally everything gets claimed. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Um, so I'll try to put some of the Halo playthrough up on, on YouTube. Who knows if it'll actually uh, exist and, and not get copyright claimed. I don't know how that goes. I would assume they're pretty lax with it because it's Halo, but we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, just saying, you know, YouTube content's been lacking, but to be honest, it's probably going to stay the same uh, just because my interest is in Twitch right now. So that's going to that's gonna do it, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and hopefully you guys enjoy the new show. Uh, we'll have more details on that when I get them and I'll tweet them out. So that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.